This video will show you how to export items from OneSearch into RefWorks. Here at OneSearch, I have searched for a topic. When I click on one of the articles, you'll see the Tools menu on the right. While the Tools menu does have a Cite option, which shows you citations for different styles, a better choice, especially when you're citing from many sources, is to use RefWorks. RefWorks is an online tool that helps you manage all of your citations, create a bibliography, and if you use the Write and Cite plugin, it can even create in-text citations in the body of your paper. To get this article into RefWorks, I would click the Export option, choose Direct Export to RefWorks, and then click Save. In a previous video, you learned how to save items to a temporary folder. If you're working with a number of articles, it's much easier to export all of them at once. Let's do that. Once you've added the items to your folder, click the folder icon to view your temporary folder. Here are the articles we saved. To get them into RefWorks, I'll click Select All, then Export, choose Direct Export to RefWorks, and then Save. If you're not signed into your RefWorks account, it will now ask you to do so. It will also ask if you are using the new RefWorks or legacy RefWorks. If you are using the legacy RefWorks, please stop watching this video and refer to the video called Using Legacy RefWorks. Select New RefWorks and sign into this account. RefWorks will tell you your references have been imported. To see them, click on OK, and you will be taken to your last imported folder. Here are the references that I just imported. Select an article you wish to view, and the article's citation information shows up in the right-hand margin. You'll see that all the information you need for the article, including a link to the article's page in OneSearch. When importing items from OneSearch, the article or title subject headings will be imported as tags, shown at the top under the title of the source. To edit any of the citation information, select the pencil icon in the upper right hand corner of the margin. At this point, it's probably a good idea to organize the items you imported. To do that, click the Select All checkbox and then click the folder icon. Here I can move them to a folder I already have or create a new folder. I'll move them to a new folder which I'll title Project Paper. In addition to its ability to create bibliographies, folders are a powerful aspect of RefWorks. You can use them to organize your references and also have a handy link to your article's full text. In new RefWorks, you can now share a folder with a group member or classmates. In order to do this, go to the sharing icon and click share a folder. You then choose the folder you want to share. Enter the email addresses of the people you want to send the folder to and you can also choose if you want the email recipients to be able to read, annotate, or modify the folder's contents. Let's use the items in that new project paper folder and make a bibliography. First, I'll open the folder with the sources I want to use. Click Select All. Then under the quotation mark icon, select Create Bibliography. At the top, you can select and change the output style. You can then click the Copy to clipboard, clipboard button to copy the contents and paste them into your Word document. It's important to note, like any other citation helper, RefWorks is not perfect. Make sure you review the bibliography for any corrections that may be needed. For examples of proper citation format, see the library's APA citation guide. You'll find a link to this guide on the library website under Citing Sources in the Quick Link section of most pages of the library website. You can also download a RefWorks plugin for Word that allows you to create in-text citations as well as bibliographies within Word itself. Within your RefWorks account, under your name at the top, click Tools. Here you will find add-ons to use RefWorks and other programs such as Write and Cite for Word. For more information and tutorials about RefWorks and the Write and Cite plugin, go to the RefWorks page on the Citing Sources page of the library website. 